Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mindy Banks. I'm the Flip Flop Chef. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious chicken pot pie recipe. We're not going to use any canned cream of chicken or um, any other creamed ca canned cream soup. We're going to make our own. It tastes so much better and it's way better for you. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe while you're here. And don't forget to visit theflipflopchef.com so you can join my recipe community and sign up for my um, email newsletters there. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off using our 12 inch non-stick stainless skillet. Um, I love this skillet because it's a stainless skillet, but it has a non-stick coating on the inside. And on top of that non-stick coating is a stainless grid. So the stainless grid gives you the ability to sear your meats and um, crisp up other foods that you wouldn't be able to do typically in just a non-stick pan. So you have that stainless grid to make sure you get the best results. I've got five tablespoons of butter in here. I'm gonna turn this on. Um, whoops, I thought I plugged it in, but I did not. <clears throat> That's an important step. I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to put it on medium um, just so that the butter can start um, melting. So while we wait for the butter to melt, I'm going to chop up some celery and some green onions. I'm going to use the food processor today for our celery. And let me grab a knife. I thought I had one of those too. I just had a small one. So this is the food processor. It has a little button on the top that you can pop up the handle, and you'll put your if you're if you're right-handed, you'll put your left hand here, your right hand here, and you just pump. Make sure the handle comes all the way up and all the way down each time, and that way you're spinning your food um, and you're chopping it rather than just tossing it around. So these are the blades on the inside. Um, I've got a stalk of celery here, and I'm just gonna cut off. Some of those pieces, we're gonna put this in our food processor. You can use our food chopper or our Flex Plus if you like. I'm gonna just stir this butter a little bit around the pan. When you're done chopping, just scrape off anything that might be on the top part of your food processor lid. Take this out, and by the way, these two pieces are dishwasher safe. This lid does not need to be submerged in water. If you submerge it in water, it's gonna fill up with water, and then you'll have to turn it upside down to drain it all out. So also don't put that in the dishwasher. All right, so I'm melting our butter in the pan over here, and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the celery. And I've got our small mix and scraper here to just kind of mix this around. And then I'm going to use our kitchen shears to chop my green onions right over the top of the pan. Now I have a couple of places on my green onions that aren't the best. So I love just to be able to use my kitchen shears just to snip those ends off and let's see if I can get these all together here and then I'm just going to snip them with my kitchen shears right over the pan give this a quick stir that butter is almost done there we go had to get that all melted and I like doing it this way just because it's really easy with scissors if you have really good kitchen shears it's very easy so green onions butter and um, celery. I'm just using the green part, but you can use um, the white also if you like. So I'm just gonna mix this together and we're gonna let this all um, kind of cook until it starts to get soft. So you want that celery to soften up just a little bit. It doesn't take too long to get to that point. And then in just a minute, I'm going to um, add our flour. So let me just let that sit for just a second. I'll move a few things out of the way. So I'm going to add some flour on the top here and you want to stir this so that the butter absorbs the flour but and you're coating the celery and your green onions. Now we're going to add 
two cups of chicken broth. So I'll go ahead and measure that out. I'm going to use my two cup easy read measuring cup to measure out two cups of chicken broth. I like buying the box chicken broth because it's easy to store the leftovers in the fridge. I'll give my pan just a little bit of a mix there. Okay. Mix this real quick and then I'm going to start using my sauce whisk and I'm going to gradually pour in our chicken broth. So I'm going to pour a little bit of that in and I'm going to use my sauce whisk. I'm going to lower this temperature to low. And then once you start getting this incorporated, pour with one hand if you can and then gradually whisk with the other. And this will thicken up pretty quickly. There we go. You just want to kind of get those clumps out and mix a little bit along the way. And I love the sauce whisk because it is coated in silicone, it's not going to scratch your nonstick pans. But one of the things that I love about this cookware is you can actually use metal utensils in this cookware. I'm going to turn this back up to medium. Um, so I could use just a regular whisk in here if I wanted to, but I like the angle of this sauce whisk. So basically we're making our own cream of chicken soup or cream of celery. <laughs> you could use any of those canned soups if you want, but this is really not that hard to make. And you probably have most of the ingredients on hand. All right, so I'm gonna increase this temperature now to high, and I actually do want this to come to a boil. And um, I'll stir this occasionally, and then we're gonna add in some heavy cream. You could use half and half or heavy cream. But we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of our ingredients ready to go while we wait for that to come to a boil. And I'm gonna use my um, four quart stainless steel mixing bowl. This comes as a part of a set of three. You get a two, four, and six quart bowl in the set. And I'm gonna use the four quart bowl today. I'm just going to give this a little stir here. And you have a nice lid if you'd like to store something in here. There's a rubber gripper on the bottom to keep it from slipping and sliding around on the counter. There's a handle and also a force spout. I have some leftover chicken. So I made Vesuvio roasted chicken um, a couple days ago. You can find that video on my channel. And we had some leftover chicken. So this is right out of the fridge. I'm going to take my salad choppers. And I'm going to chop this up. I will tell you that cold chicken doesn't chop quite as easily as warm chicken. But I took this out of the refrigerator just long enough to take the chill off. And you can see how easy it is to chop this up. So you're going to need about three cups of chopped chicken. I probably could have put a little bit more in here. I think I'll grab some more. I have some more in the fridge. Mix this up. I'm going to turn this down to low just so I can catch up and had actually roasted two chickens. So I'm gonna put some more of this in here. Um, and this is a little bit more difficult to chop through just because it wasn't room temperature, but still it is very easy for our salad chopper. Salad choppers are one of my most used products for cutting and chopping. Um, we could have used these on the celery as well. All right, so we have our chicken. Let's see. Scrape all these. I don't like to waste anything, so I like to get everything out of those little grooves. All right, so I'm going to turn this back up a little bit and just whisk this. You can see it's getting nice and thick. And I'm going to add in a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream mix this in and then I'm going to lower the temperature so that it doesn't, you don't want that milk to curdle or over, get scorched or overcooked. Alright, so we're going to whisk this in and then I'm going to add some seasonings while this sort of simmers. So we've got all of that incorporated. Put this on low and I'm going to use a tablespoon or so of Pampered Chef's Herbs to Province seasoning, and I do like a heaping tablespoon. 
If you're not familiar with our seasonings, our dry rubs and seasonings are gluten-free and they're kosher. This is the Herbs of Providence and this is a seasoning mix. It has thyme, basil, fennel seed, savory rosemary, tarragon, marjoram, lavender, gluten-free and kosher. So good. I'm gonna mix this. Then I'm gonna add in some salt and pepper. I'm gonna use Pampered Chef's peppercorn medley, which is a blend of five different peppercorns. And I'm gonna add some salt. This is our pink Himalayan sea salt. I'm not a heavy salter, so when you when you make this, you may want to add more than I do, but just remember, whoever's eating it can always add more salt or pepper. All right, so I'm gonna mix this together and just kind of let this simmer, and if I need to, I'll just give this a quick little stir. But let's go ahead and get the rest of our ingredients ready and get our pie crusts out so that we can make those. Get that But we're gonna drain some mixed vegetables. If you don't like using canned vegetables, <clears throat> You can use frozen. Um, I do like um, the canned vegetables from Aldi. There's, they have non-BPA lining, so you can get cans that don't that are BPA free, which is really great. Um, and not every grocery store has those, but almost all of Aldi's, if not all of them, have this little, um, it says non-BPA living. Almost all of their cans have that. So we're gonna open two cans oops, of mixed vegetables. I'm gonna drain these using this easy read measuring colander. And if you've never used a can opener, you start at one, um, the front of the can. Once you bypass the front, you're gonna turn counterclockwise and peel this lid right off. And I'll show you this again in a second, but let's go ahead and drain this. And I'm gonna just set this on my lid there. So you hook your can opener on the front of the can. You're gonna twist until you bypass your starting point. Then turn counterclockwise to release that. Take the lid off. Before I drain this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add in the can that we already drained. I'll drain another one. I'll just kinda shake this one a little bit over the sink. All right, so right now I have our chicken and our vegetables. I'm gonna just stir my homemade cream of chicken or cream of celery soup here. There we go. And then let's get our pie crust ready. So we're gonna use Pampered Chef's enamel cast iron covered skillet. So I love this pan. We don't need the lid for this one, so I am gonna put the lid away. But um, I love that this has a self-basting lid. So if you were cooking something in here that would have a lot of juices, the steam will redirect on top of whatever you're cooking in here so it would baste the food for you. We're gonna spray this with some um, oil using our kitchen spritzer. You're gonna pump the pressure into the bottle until it's nice and tight. And by the way, you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. This is gonna take 40 to 45 minutes to bake, and then you're going to let it rest for about 10 minutes. Make sure that you really spray the inside of your pan, because you don't want the crust to stick. You could do this in just a 10 inch casserole dish or cast iron, or if you have a piece of stoneware. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> I inhaled some of that, I apologize. When you're done, you wanna burp this, let any remaining air out. It's gonna keep your oil fresh and keep the pump from getting clogged. You wanna store this in the cabinet or on the countertop, but no, anywhere but over the stove top because you don't want that heat to rise. And, um, oops, glad I already used my seasoning because I dropped it on the floor. I always worry that I'm gonna knock something off the counter. And so the fact that today's the first time, I think I've done pretty well. All right, so I'm using pre-made pie crust. This brand is from Walmart. Um, Aldi also has a great one. So once you get that um, spread out there, we're gonna use another one of these to go on the top. So let's go ahead and I'll mix in, I'm gonna turn off my um, my burner, make a little room here. And then I'm just gonna pour in this cream of chicken soup. I keep saying cream of chicken, it's really cream of celery. Um, <clears throat> scrape this in and you can see with my uh, small
little mix and scraper. I can get every drop out of this pan. Check that out. And this pan can't go in the dishwasher, but it's super easy to wash by hand also. So I'm just going to mix this together. So we've got our chicken pot pie filling. And I just use leftover chicken for this, but if you don't have any leftover chicken, um, you can cook it however way you like. You can grill it, you can make it in the quick cooker, you can bake it, you can buy a rotisserie chicken at the grocery store and pick the meat off the bone. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to pour this in on top of the first crust. this around. Doesn't this look so good? I know you guys are going to love this. I hope you'll make it and be sure to use the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoy my videos and don't forget to go to theflipflopchef.com. You can sign up for my recipe community and my email list there if you want to stay in touch and have access to some great deals. I also have a Flip Flop Friday giveaway every single Friday. Look for the Flip Flop Friday post in my recipe community. All you have to do is leave a comment and that will enter you to win. <clears throat> All right, I like this pan because it's literally, you see that? It is like the perfect size for these store-bought crusts. I don't have to worry about making a pretty edge. Just put it in the pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an egg white and take a mini whipper. And I'm just going to whip this up so you just separate your egg, whip up your egg white. We're going to brush the top and then I'm going to pierce the top just so that it has some like air vents on the crust. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit subscribe while you're here. And if you see any products in this video that you would like to purchase, I would love the opportunity to be your consultant as a consultant with Hampered Chef. I do earn commission on the products I sell. So if you enjoy my videos, I would love the opportunity to help you with your purchase. Okay, so I'm just going to use my silicone basting brush and brush the crust. If you skip this step, it's okay. Your crust just won't be quite as pretty. This gives it a really um, shiny finish rather than like a crusty finish. So go around the edges there. Okay. And then I'm going to take one of my paring knives and I'm just going to poke holes across. I'm going to do like an X and then I'll just put a few here. And again, this just vents the crust. There you go. And now this will bake at 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes. But this is our chicken pot pie. Um, I will post pictures of the finished product in my recipe community, so be sure to check out theflipflopchef.com so you don't miss out on that. That's where you'll find the recipe for this as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed today. If, I ha if you have any questions for me, please let me know, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.